the next story is Have Fun, Molly Lou Mellon. Molly Lou Mellon's toy chest overflowed with whoozy what's its of all shapes and sizes. Her grandma had told her back in the olden days, I didn't have fancy dolls or action figures. I made them out of twigs, leaves, and flowers like hollyhocks and daisies. So she did just that. Molly Lou Mellon's backyard had a big weeping willow and crumbly rocks with thingamajigs peeking out from every crevice. Her grandmother told her, back in the olden days, I didn't have a store-bought dollhouse I made one in my backyard. So she did just that. Molly Lou Mellon's garage was full of colorful boxes and crates. Her grandmother had told her, back in the olden days, I didn't have a race car. I sat, on, I sat on a cardboard box and sped down the hill. What do you think she did? So she did just that. Molly Lou Mellon laid on her back in the tall willowy grass. Her grandmother had told her, back in the olden days, I didn't have television. And just for your information, Mrs. Garrett had television when she was younger. I watched the clouds that floated by and saw lots of things in them. What do you think? Molly Lou Mellon did. You're right. She did just that. One day, new neighbors moved in next door. When Molly Lou Mellon went to welcome their little girl, she heard Gertie say to her mom, I'm bored, bored, bored. Molly Lou Mellon invited Gertie over to play. On Monday, Gertie brought over her darling Dalla, Darla Deluxe Dollhouse, complete with an electric mixer and working chandeliers. Molly Lou Mellon showed Gertie her three her tree root palace complete with acorn cap dinner plates, woven leaf air conditioner system, and cicada jacuzzi. Gertie was amazed. Pretty nifty. On Tuesday, Tuesday, Gertie drove over in her battery operated fully loaded Coupe de Ville. Now here's Gertie. Look out below! Molly Lou Mellon screamed right before hurtling down the hill into in her turbo boxed hand painted with orange and red flames. Gertie was amazed. On Wednesday, Ger Wednesday, Gertie was going to call Molly Lou Mellon on her cell phone, but then she heard a strange sound, sound coming from an old tin can that was dangling in her window. This is the operator. Will you accept a call from me, Molly Lou Mellon? Ye yes, 
Gertie spoke into the can. Great, come on over. Click. Gertie was amazed. On Thursday, Thursday, Molly asked, Gertie asked Molly, Blue Melon, if she'd like to come over and watch cartoons on her big screen TV. It's 120 inches wide. Molly Lou Mellon said, not today, thanks. I'm going to watch the clouds. They're, they're sky wide. Gertie was amazed. On Friday, Gertie brought over a handmade doll with a, with a frilly hollyhock skirt and violets for hair. This is for your place, she said, and Molly Lou Mellon was amazed. On Friday evening, Molly Lou Mellon and Gertie were tired, tired, tired from playing all week. They lay down in the tall willowy grass and looked up at the clouds. I see a butterfly, Gertie giggled, and a penguin, and a refrigerator. Molly Lou Mellon opened her eyes wide and grinned her biggest grin. I see grandma, a grandma-shaped cloud winking at me, and Molly Lou Mellon winked right back. What is the theme of the story, guys? I'll tell you what the theme is. You don't have, you can create fun with nothing. Just use your imagination. So during this time off, I encourage you to use your imagination to have all sorts of fun. And then when you create something or come up with something different than you than something you spend money on, I encourage you for your parents to send me a message or a picture of something you did that was creative. I also encourage you to keep a journal during this time of things that you're doing and how things have changed since you've been stuck at home during this time. I can't wait to read them. Talk to you soon. Bye.